Great minds think alike. I beg to differ. Great minds think for themselves. They shuffle to the beat of a different drummer. Take Clara Barton, a teeny little lady with a great big heart. It was a civil war. In this dark time, there was a bright light known as the angel of the battlefield. Everything will be as it was back then, except there's a big blue genie. Opening number, please. Bayonets only. All right. What we're going to do is charge, charge, charge. Stand in line, shoot, fall. Okay, everybody? So what you're suggesting, Miss Barton, is that you attend to the wounded right on the battlefield? Preposterous! Did I spit on you, ma'am? Sorry. We bring the boys back here. It's too dicey to treat them out there. Besides, the battlefield is no place for a female. General, there's something you should know about me. I don't take no for an answer. Incoming! They said it wouldn't work. They said it was unthinkable. But think again, boys. And that's how the American Red Cross was born. When they say it can't be done, put your hair in a bun and do it. Listen to your genie. Sometimes you have to be different to make a difference. In other words, great, great minds think for themselves. Yeah, they do. Mm-hmm. Visit your local library and the Library of Congress website, www.loc.gov.